way, I didn't go on the Hello Kitty plane, but I think my plane to Taipei is this Pokemon one. No way. Okay, you guys, I asked the flight attendants. They're standing over there. I asked them if our flight is the one in the Pokemon plane and they said yes! I'm so excited. And then I asked them if it's Pokemon themed inside and they said they have stickers. Hey, I mean, we didn't get the Hello Kitty flight, but we got this, which is some sort of consolation prize, right? <laughs> I guess. Good morning vlog! Look who's here! Hello! It's, it's literally been like three weeks since we've seen each other, right? Something like that? <laughs> Did you see me spinning? Oh, I don't know. Do it again. Nice. Okay, yeah, but it's in three weeks or something? Cool. Bird! <laughs> Yes. A bird! Sangali bai! Okay, 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 okay. Three weeks. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, bird just flew in from the airport and we are about to go eat. We're gonna try to go to this really famous soy milk place. I've actually never been because you have to wake up super early to go and they have really long lines. We'll see what happens. If not, I think we have a backup plan. So let's go. What did you think? It was cool. It's a very long line. Yeah, the line was really long. Yeah, we waited maybe like an hour or so. I think it's like good to try once. Yeah. But after you try it once, you probably don't need to try like it it's, again. Like it's good. It's good. It's good. It's just that it's, it's a long like, wait yeah. and you have to like wake up early for the it and is, stuff. I, I, I personally feel like Taiwan has so much good food and like a lot of it you don't need to wait that long. Right, 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 so right. So the comparison of like good food, like yes, it's good, but how much better how much is it compared to compared other, to other things that you don't need to wait for? And that you don't have enough to wait for, yes. Yeah. So, I agree, I agree. Yes, it was good though. But that's what I think. I'm glad we finally tried it. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Now we know next time we just go to the ones we like. Yes, with no wait. <laughs> now we are, I think, about to head to Ximen. Ximen Ding. Yes. Bird wants to visit the GU store. We're gonna go hang around there. My We're gonna, gonna get boba. Yeah. Live life. <laughs> Live life. <laughs> <laughs> we found the boba shop. Let's go! Alright, we got our oolong milk tea. And look, they're having a Sanrio thing. So this one's Pom Pom Purin. And yesterday I got a Hello Kitty one. The day before that I got a Pochaco one. Straw. <laughs> yes, May May straw. Good. Me, bird. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Is the boba good? Not bad. Mmm. The boba is so good. It is the perfect texture. Chewy, not mushy, but it's also soft and not too hard. I wanted to keep getting it to make sure that 
every single time it's good and just the few times that I got it and it was good it wasn't a fluke every single time so far it's been good three times just in general the drinks could be stronger in flavor but the boba itself is so good Peace sign with mine. Hey, that's mean. Hey. <laughs> so they don't have a GU here, but they do have a Uniqlo. So we are at Uniqlo browsing. The Uniqlo's here sell flowers, and so do the ones in Japan. So interesting. The US ones definitely don't. Oh my God, Kuromi. Cute. My Melody, adorable. <gasps> Another Kuromi. Wow, adorable. If anyone ever wants to see what Uniqlo clothes look like on a person. <laughs> his whole fit is Uniqlo, except his shoes. Pants, Uniqlo, shirt, Uniqlo, bag, un Cargo Uniqlo. Pants. Okay. Uniqlo U wide shirt. Why do you know the names of all of them? Uniqlo drawstring bag. <laughs> you should be an ambassador. Dreamers Coffee Roasters and we're here to do some work. We have our laptops and I got a sea salt caramel latte iced and the cup says I love you <laughs> and Bird got a tiramisu latte and his cup says today is better than yesterday. Is today better than yesterday? <laughs> I love you. Okay. <laughs> Mine's not that sweet. I'll show yours. Oh, yours is sweeter. Yours is like a dessert. Yeah, there's like a little sweetness at the end, but it's less sweet for sure. Hello, vlog. <laughs> We spent a few hours working at the coffee shop. Actually, quite a few hours. Like four hours-ish? Was it four hours? Dimple? No dimple. You're like Coco. It, or not Coco, but Miguel. Actually, I do have dimple. So, <laughs> so you're not like Miguel from Coco. Okay, Too anyway. Dimple. So we worked at that coffee shop for like four hours. And then across the street, there's this ramen place that every time I walk by, there's a line. So we are lined up for it. And then when I saw the English name, I realized that they have one of these in Seattle, but I've never tried it. I never tried it in Seattle. I wanted to, but I just never did. And it's called Menya Musashi. They specialize in tsukumen, the, the dipping ramen. So I told Bird he can compare it to his favorite Taishokin at home. Loyal. <laughs> Bird, you have to go with an open mind. Loyal. Okay. We just finished dinner. What did you think compared to Taishokun? <laughs> Loyalty. Okay. Dude, I asked Bird after he tried it. I was like, what do you think? And he was like, and I immediately knew he was thinking that he likes Taishokun better. The grass is not always greener on the other side. Okay. I asked him what it was about it that he didn't like as much as Taishokun. And he was like, familiarity, loyalty. <laughs> and I was like, that doesn't count. That's not about taste, that's about like feeling. <laughs> well, when I eat Taishokin, I feel good. Okay. When I eat this, I feel guilty. Wait, why? Because you're loyalty. Oh, because you're, oh, I see, you're cheating on Taishokin. I see, I see. I haven't heard of loyalty. Oh, oh, why? <laughs> okay, enough. <laughs> so right now, we're walking back to our apartment so we're gonna drop off our stuff and then I have a nail appointment at 8 o'clock and Bird is gonna go shopping. <laughs> Let's go shopping. <laughs> Are you gonna take a nap? Who knows? 
crazy world. <laughs> He's jet lagged. It's okay, stay strong. You can sleep soon. Like a bird. <laughs> Good morning vlog. Hello. You can see we're eating mints. The peach mints. It's good, right? Tasty. I got bird hooked on them. Like me. Well, he's not as obsessed as me, but they're good, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> Last night after I got my nails done, Bird promptly came home, showered, and fell asleep. Like, passed out I completely. I was even sleeping in the nail appointment. He was sleeping at the nail salon, yes. <laughs> Jet lag. But we are up and energized this morning because we are about to go have lunch with some family. We're gonna eat teppanyaki, which I actually haven't had in a long time. Last time I had it was at Benihana, like, hella years ago. Yeah, and after that, I think Bird has something planned. We're gonna planned. do an event, and then I'm gonna go shopping when you work. Okay, yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. So let's go to lunch. Let's go. finished lunch it was very yummy this, Yum. the steak was really good and the fried rice i also really like and the lobster was good too and the actually the oyster was really good <laughs> okay it was a lot of it was really good but now bird is leading us to our destination oh my god we're at ikea yay Oh my god, wait, I've been wanting to check out Taiwan IKEA for so long. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I love IKEA so much. They have this whole Christmas section, it's so cute. We have a wreath. We have I don't know what this is. Is this a wreath? Or a basket? <laughs> and they have all these ornaments. So pretty. Wow. Oh my gosh, look, they have cat ones. Oh, that's cute. cute. Wait, is that a cat? Oh, that one's like a mouse. mouse. This one's a cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they have these trees. Oh my gosh, how cute. Wow. Oh, this is <laughs> this is the thing that I was looking at. I don't know. It's like... A mobile? I don't know, I guess. It's just some sort of decoration. There's all these Tupperwares. Oh, I love IKEA Tupperware. So this one doesn't have a showroom. It just has like the marketplace area, it seems. Yeah, but I do love the marketplace area anyway. This is Bird's favorite lamp called the Fado. I love Fado. We used to have three? No, two. Oh, we used to have two, but we only have one now because yeah. Ollie broke one of them. Yeah. Classic Ollie. I highly recommend the Fado though. Yes. It makes the space look very cool. Yes, we love it. How much is the Fado? I don't see a price tag. Down there. Oh, down there, four nine nine. That's like fifteen. Fifteen. Wait, what? That's cheap. Wait, that's so much cheaper than in the U.S. Yeah, what the heck? The U.S. This is like almost thirty bucks. Yeah. Dang, it's cheaper in Taiwan. They have this whole backpack area, and we just realized that you could actually get them embroidered. 
So kind of like the Uniqlo one, although Uniqlo has way more designs to choose from. And here you can only get these, but still cool. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my face looks funny. Look, 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 look at my face. Look at this, they have Lego storage on the wall. Bird, you need that. You have all your loose Legos. It's a nice way to store Legos and it also acts kind of like a decor. Yeah. Yeah, cool idea. All right, now let's check out the cafeteria section. They have red wine beef spaghetti, Christmas ham, quinoa, chicken breast salad, sauce grilled steak. This is their Christmas special. We got some cheesecake. We have the dime pie thingy. This I tried at the US IKEA in a trying every food at the IKEA food court video on the main channel. They also have some roll cakes. Oh my gosh, caramel apple cake, mango custard cake. Oh, cheese pudding tart. Oh my God, I think we're gonna have to try this. They even have crepe cakes. Oh my God, they have ribs. Look at that. No way they have crawfish, that's wild. They have chicken lasagna with pesto sauce, margarita pizza, ooh, fried chicken. Oh my God, sausage with bones, very interesting. Fried cheese pork chop, ooh, let's grab one of these. Fried cheese pork chops. And the fried chicken doesn't look that great, but I am gonna just try it. Just cause we're here and we might as well, let's see. All right, I'm gonna try the chicken wing first. You wanna try bird? Try chicken? Yeah. Cheers. Wait, I thought it was gonna be bad. Yeah, cause it looks so like burnt on the outside, but it's actually good. It has a nice crispiness on the outside. I don't know why it looks burnt, but it's not really burnt. And the chicken is juicy and it has good flavor. Good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm so shocked. Yeah, we would have bought. Let's try the cheese pork cutlet. Actually not bad. Better it's, than the chicken? No, I like the chicken more, but it's nice and crispy on the outside. The pork is juicy. It's Ooh. cheesy, look how cheesy. It's oozing. Oh my God. Whoa, I like it. I mean, it's not the best thing ever, but it's pretty good. Very crispy, the pork is juicy, and then the cheese, it does kind of taste like that, a little bit of that artificial cheese flavor, I guess, but I don't really mind that. Yeah. I can't believe IKEA sells this. Yeah. It's so crispy, yeah. really nice and crispy. I am impressed so far. Aren't yeah, you? I am impressed. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the fries that come with the crawfish. Why is the fries the worst thing? I know, <laughs> it's like kind of soggy. Out of everything, the fries is actually not crispy. A little soggy it looks and like it tough. Would be a little tough too. It looks like it should be good. It really does look like it should be good because it has a seasoning too. Yeah. Like the seasoning on the outside is similar to like what you get at curly fries, yeah. like a Jack in the Box. So the seasoning is really nice. It's just the crispiness is not there. Could be an old batch. It's probably an old batch, yeah. Disappointed in the fries. Yeah. Which is surprising because I feel like fries is actually the easiest thing to do. I agree. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about this crawfish. The last time I had crawfish was in Houston. Oh wow, there's a lot of flavor in here. Oh, it's spicy, but the flavor is really good. A little bit like of a mala spice to it, like the numbing spice. Bird helped me peel it because my my nails, I don't want to ruin them. Cheers. Not bad. I mean, the crawfish itself is not the best, but not as good as in Houston, but the flavor is good. Yeah, not bad. Super flavorful. Yeah. What the heck? Who knew the worst thing we had was the fries? I know. That's so shocking. Even the crawfish was good. I mean, decently good for Ikea, you know? Wow. I'm shook. I definitely recommend the fried chicken. The fried chicken, I think, was my favorite. Yeah. But the pork cutlet and the crawfish was good too. The fries, I mean, I'll still eat them because I love fries, yeah, but same. they're the most disappointing thing. Now for the cheese custard tart. This thing is ginormous. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's huge! Oh, whoa! It's basically just like cheesecake in there. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like cheesecake. I wouldn't say it's a cheese tart. It's more of just a mini cheesecake. Not bad, but just not what I was yeah. expecting. What about the top layer? Is it crispy? Mm-mm. Uh, it's weird. It has this little gelatin on it. Do you see it? Yeah. That layer of gelatin on top? Mm. I'm not quite sure what that is. This one was okay. Like, it's good. Yeah. But we'll it's not that. what I expected. Yeah. This one, I'd probably skip because I thought it was gonna be cheese tart. Yeah. But it's just a cheesecake. 
<laughs> oh my god, you guys. I just went to get ice cream. They dispense it from a machine, which is so cool. You put your money in, then it dispenses a cone. You grab the cone, put it in the little slot, and then the ice cream just dispenses, and then you just take your cone. They're living in 2030, 2035, I don't know, 2040, 2050. When you say like 2030 now, it doesn't, it's not that far. So it's not that impressive. But oh my gosh, look at this. This is a cheesecake ice cream. And it was 20 NT, which is like 60, 70 cents, somewhere around there. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Whoa. It's so creamy and it does taste like cheesecake. And it's so like fluffy and soft, but also super creamy. Dude, the Ikea here blew my mind. I already love Ikea at home, but this Ikea is way better. <laughs> okay, Bird, you have to try this. All right, let's try it. Strong cheesecake flavor. Right? And it's so creamy too, Yeah, right? it's super creamy. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. For 70 cents? Yeah. Yeah, this is really good. I feel like if this was in America, it'd almost be considered like an artisan soft serve. Yeah, like a fancy type. ice yeah. cream that you'd pay like five, at least $5 for. Yeah, but like, this is like good, tasty. None for you. <laughs> All right, we finished at Ikea. The food was surprisingly so good. Really, really good. I was shocked, but they didn't have like a showroom like the ones in the Bay Area do, which I guess was kind of a little of a downside. And they didn't have, seem to have that much furniture. But anyway, we still had fun browsing around and I was just shook about the food. But anyway, now we are headed to a cafe so I can work more. Unfortunately, yesterday and today are my main working days because the next three days are going to be packed with stuff. So I got to get all my work done. Time to work. Not for me. Okay. How cute. It's in Rio Metro. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have Kremia. I'm so excited. Dude, you haven't had Kremia since we went to Japan like five years ago. My name is Bird. Okay, Bird. <laughs> Look, it's glorious. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they have it in Taiwan now. We are definitely getting one. Cheers. Good. Not bad. I like the folds. I know, it's fun to eat, right? Yeah, it's, fun to eat. it's actually fun to eat, like the texture. I don't know if I should say this. Oh my god, I know what you're gonna say. I think the IKEA one is maybe. I knew you were gonna say that. Better. I don't think the IKEA one's better. It's but comparable, I think. Yeah, it's comparable. Go IKEA. That's good though. Mm. This one does have a strawberry flavor. It's not super strong though. More on the subtle side. You wanna try? No, this is better than Ikea bird. Ikea was really good, but this is better. So creamy and rich. Which one do you like more, strawberry or original? I think I like the original more. Mm. I think so too. But what makes it really good is the cookie cone. It's yeah. super good. It is, it's fun to eat. Mm. The cookie cone, it's kind of like a Milano cookie. Yummy. Yeah. All right, so we're back at Dreamers Coffee, but we're at a different location. We're at the Zhongxiao Fuxing location, and I got a white peach sparkling green tea. And then Bird got a caramel ruibos milk tea. I never know how to say that word. R-O-O-I-B-O-S. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, mine's not very sweet. Mine's not that sweet either. It's actually, the sweetness comes from the caramel. Oh, mine has a peach flavor, but it's like different. I don't know, I feel like it tastes a little plummy. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yours is like, interesting. I don't know why I taste root beer. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe. There's like a root beer taste to it. I don't know if that makes sense. It's very interesting. All right, time to work.
Okay, we just finished working. Well, I was working. It is now almost 9 p.m. and we are gonna go eat Dinner. conveyor belt sushi. Yay! Bird went shopping while I was working, so we'll do a haul when we get back. I. <laughs> This is the damage of all we ate. And all of this costs less than $30 for the both like of us. 900 NT. So. 900 NT, yeah. I guess that's about $30, yeah. That's yeah. About $30. For two people, that's pretty good. That's really good, yeah. We are back at the apartment and Bird's gonna show you guys his haul of his shopping. And also, he got a boba Swag. from Milksha. This place is not bad. It's pretty decent. So the first thing that we got was a moon bag from Uniqlo. Moon bag. We actually bought it for a white elephant gift. Yeah, we also got a different bag, this one. So oh. It's kind of like a Uniqlo drawstring bag, but smaller. It's the same one you have, yeah, but so a it's mini like, version. It's kind of like a moon bag esque type functionality. Yeah. So you open it and then you can put stuff in here. Uh huh. And you just like that and it folds over. It folds over. That's cool. Yeah, that's like literally what your drawstring bag is like, but it's a mini version. Yeah. Wow, model, oh. supermodel, fashion, fashion show. runway. So we got one of these for ourselves, or actually, we got two for ourselves. It's this one and then this color. Ah, one black, one beige. And then we got one, another one for uh, the white elephant. White elephant. So we, these two are for white elephant, basically. Nice. And Invite then, us to your white elephant, and we'll bring Uniqlo bags. And then <laughs> I got this thing. So I was sending her pictures of this, and she said she didn't like the color, but I disagree. I think it's. Well, cool. I just think that the color was a bit light. It actually looks less light now. In the pictures you showed me, it looked really white. Yeah, it look, it's like it's fine, right? It's yeah, it's cool. not too bad. I feel like with the vest though, I like the ones that have the horizontal lines. I don't know, I kind of like this one. You this like the, yeah. the diamond one? So this no. is from GU, right? Yeah, GU is kind of, I think it's like the Uniqlo sister company or something. Yeah, it's owned by Uniqlo, right? Yeah. I think Uniqlo is more like everyone can wear it. Uh. And then like GU is more like for their younger demographic. Oh, I see. Yeah. The bags are from Uniqlo, all of them, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so GU didn't have bags. Yeah. I think this is like, kind of looks cool. And then like, maybe if I had a hoodie. Hoodie cool. under it? Yeah. Nice. How much was this? I think it was like 9.90. Oh yeah, it's on the tag right there. Oh yeah. 9.90. Okay, so like 30 bucks yeah. ish. Not bad. I don't have anything like this. So it's like a new thing for me. Yeah, a new style. Now we must get ready for bed because tomorrow, many things oh yeah so tomorrow bird is planning the day for us well although he said he only planned half a day so we might i, I think i might actually work for the second half of the day <laughs> i'm very curious to see what bird planned because i'm usually the planner in the relationship so we'll see what bird planned tomorrow stay tuned good night everybody bye bye bye, -bye. <laughs>